Yo, what is up YouTube? Darth Anonymous here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and get Corporate Clash running on the Steam Deck along with controller support. So the first thing you want to do, you want to go click on the Discover Store, and you want to search up Lutris. And you're going to want to install it. There should be an Install button here. And then once it's installed, you can click Launch. And then, give it a moment. Alright, um, Lutris finally launched. So you're going to want to click this plus button, then you're going to want to search for in Lutris for Toontown Corporate Clash. And then you're going to click the first option, you're going to click install. You're going to uh, install where you want it. I would recommend the home directory and then games. That should be the default, my, my default. Oh wait. And then like create a new folder, like I'm going to type Toontown Corporate Clash. Um, yeah, so mine already exists, so this might create problems, but you're going to want to click Create Desktop Shortcut, Create Application Menu Shortcut, and Create Steam Shortcut. So then uh, you can access it through Steam and in game mode. So click Install. This GitHub one should work. Alright, and then it's setting up. So I'll be back when, oh, never mind, it's, all right, so I'm going to go through the usual process, install, and then um, we're not going to start the launcher right away. Um, we're going to wait for this Lutra stuff to finish, close, and then you should get a shortcut here for Toontown Corporate Clash. And to add controller support, you're going to want to go to manage, then controller layout. Now, um, it should pop up with a window here. And what I recommend is community layouts. And uh, I recommend Fridge, Fridge the Monkeys layout. There are other layouts too. Um, so you can pick what you like. Um, but yeah. And then you should be able to launch the game. So if I click play, um, it's, it should launch the launcher, and then you should be good to go. Um, you you can install the update and whatnot, but like, yeah, you should be able to click your add a tune and add your username and password, do all that. And then since Clash saves it. You should be good to go. You don't have to enter it again. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.